Well, folks, in my opinion, one of the best bushcraft blades on the market today is the LT Ride Genesis. It just hits every tick that I think a good bushcraft blade needs to meet. But today, I would like to talk to you about a slightly different version that hasn't been spoken about much. So hang with me and we'll talk about it. Welcome back guys, thanks for choosing to be here today. Like I said, I want to talk to you about the LT Wright Genesis, but this one, contrary to the original design, this one is a flat ground Genesis. It is basically the exact same knife, it's just a different grind. It's the same A2 steel, it comes with the same classic uh, LT Wright style, uh, his take on a broomstick style handle. It does have the thumb scallops here. And it does come standard with LT's famous 90 degree spine that is one of the most aggressive on the market today. So without further ado, without talking about it too much, let's go over some specs. And then we're going to get into something that I think every good bushcraft blade should be able to do. Great fire prep and camp cooking. Quick specs rundown on this blade. Overall length is 9 inches long. The sharpened edge is 4 and a quarter inches long, which leaves 4 and 3 quarters inches for the, the handle. The grind is full flat with a secondary convex. The handle you can get in my Carter or Desert Ironwood. It does come with thumb scallops and it has a sharpened spine as you would expect from an LT Rod knife. Alright guys, let's start a fire and cook some breakfast. Bad right through that knot. Zero damage. Usually I'm not that hard on these. Guess I'm feeling a bit rambunctious this morning. Got steak, bacon, and eggs on the menu today. I mentioned in the intro of this video that the regular Genesis ticks all the boxes for a good bushcraft blade, and one of those, in my opinion, 
It's having a good, fine point. So you can get in and round out divots and holes and just basically overall do some fine crafting stuff. And as we're doing here, what I'm building is a platform to cook the eggs with. continues to cook. That cheap bacon just takes forever to cook over a fire. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the final thoughts out of the way while that's finishing up and then we'll grab some breakfast. Again, this is the LT Right Genesis. It's A2 steel mixed with LT's heat treat is just rock solid. Um, as I'm sure you guys probably picked up on from the beginning of this video, I came into this review knowing I was going to like the blade. I've been using the original Genesis, the Scandi version, for probably about two years, something like that. And like I said in the beginning, it 
just ticks all those boxes that a good bushcraft blade needs to tick. Um, it has a great edge, it holds the edge really well, and that goes back to the heat treat and A2 steel. I am pleasantly surprised with this. I didn't think I was going to dislike it, but I've always preferred Scandi over a flat ground knife, and this one proved me wrong. Um, I can't say that I, I like this one better than the Scandi, but it is easily on par with the Scandi in the amount of work you, you can do with it, how efficient it is. Um, it's just a different version of the same knife, and it is every bit as good. One thing that has always stuck out to me about the Genesis that I really liked, this was the first bushcraft blade, the Scandi version that is, was the fir first bushcraft blade that the handle just fit my hand. I didn't have any complaints about it. It was comfortable. Over a long period of time, I didn't get any hot spots. My hand didn't get tired. Uh, it just ticked that huge box that I have because you guys know that I'm pretty particular about my handles and this full flat version I do believe the handle has changed just a little bit um, it, it seems a bit more refined just a hair smaller than the Scandi version this isn't a comparison video so I'm not really going to get into that um, one thing that I do really like about the handle is when you're batoning there is really very little vibration that comes back to your hand so it's really easy to use the, the flat grind so again surprisingly it has a really good splitting profile to it this size blade in my opinion is the perfect size for a bushcraft blade. Um, I like the Kephart-esque point that comes back to the center and it's nice and narrow at the tip so you can get in there and do fine work. So like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but it ticks all the boxes. It, it has a good edge. It holds a great edge for a long period of time. It has that fine point. It has the 90 degree spine. It is the perfect size, about four inch blade for bushcraft style work. It does great in the kitchen. It does great at fire prep. The handle, in my opinion, is the perfect size. Now, I do have, and it surprised me, I do have one minor complaint, and it is minor. Get closer here so you guys can see. Get my own focus, baby. I wish that the edge came back closer to the handle. I think it would be just a little bit more efficient there. But I can't say that unequivocally without having actually used one like that. So is that a complaint? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but you know, not having used a, a Genesis with the edge that comes back all the way, I can't say for sure. That one's done enough. Those other two need to go a little bit longer. Breakfast time, guys. Breakfast time. Nothing beats breakfast in the woods, I tell you what. Eggs perfect, too. Soft, nice and soft boiled, so to speak. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Hmm. Now it's your job to go make your own. All right, folks. Well, I do thank you very much for being here today and choosing to spend your time with me. Um, keep your eye on this knife. I do have another video planned on this, much like my Genesis versus the GNS comparison. Not which is the better blade, but just kind of going over what the differences are and what you, you can expect to kind of help you guys make an informed decision about which style you might prefer. But guys, again, thank you for being here. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I am very grateful. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you along on this journey that is my YouTube channel. And guys, please, as always, hit up the comment section. I enjoy the discussions that come off of these. So ask me a question, start a discussion. Let's just talk about it. But guys, again, thank you, and I will see you next time.